All right, what we're going to try to do is go over when the New Testament started and when the New Dispensation started. There's a lot of confusion that Jesus is not part of what the Gentile church needs or the New Testament word of God to save us is. There's a lot of people that are teaching that Jesus is only for the Old Testament and only for those Jews. At a, he's using a different gospel and it's not the gospel to save us today because it's a different Old Testament. It's a different Old Dispensation. Jesus came in under the Old Testament and so his words are not for us. Have you ever heard that? That is an amazingly uh, bad teaching. But they've got hours and hours and hours of, of duct taping scriptures together to get it to work. Here's the truth. <clears throat> Old Testament, New Testament, right here at the cross. Jesus came at the cross. Old Testament's over here, obviously. New Testament begins with Jesus at the cross. The New Testament begins while the Old Testament is finishing off. So you have something new coming while the old is finishing off. That's the thing that they don't understand. Jesus came to bring the seeds and the word that would be the foundation to bring us into a brand new testament. Right? So he's connecting transitioning transitioning and transcending into a brand new testament. Jesus brings the words and the seeds that will turn into the church over here starting with the 12 disciples then the 120 at Pentecost and then the 3,000 that were added and then it continues to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow from this moment here from this planting of a new thing Jesus brought a new covenant Jesus brought in the new way Jesus brought in the gospel, the dispensation of grace starting at his death the Old Testament ended the Old Testament ended the dispensation of the old law ended at the death but what happens right here in the beginning right here when he's three and a half years of his ministry three and one half years Jesus is teaching about the new things Jesus is teaching all the new things he's telling them that he's gonna die he's telling them about the blood he's telling them about the resurrection Jesus told his disciples at least 15 times that he was gonna die and raise from the grave in all four Gospels Jesus spoke about his death, burial, and resurrection. John the Baptist began to make the way. Jesus, John the Baptist called Jesus the Lamb of God. You don't think John, John the Baptist knew that he was going to die as a sacrifice? John was preparing the way for the blood sacrifice. Jesus spoke about his death, burial, and resurrection over and over and over and over and over and, over and said, follow me, follow me, follow me. I'm going to do a new thing. You'll see when I raise up. And all the stuff that he said over here came true. That was the foundation. It was the foundation of a brand new thing. Now, people get confused because they get confused because Jesus was born in the Old Testament. So they're telling you that everything Jesus did up until his death, all the teachings, all the instructions, all the words, everything that he told his disciples to do, all that, everything that Jesus, we learned from Jesus, all the beautiful parables, all of the knowledge, oh, that just belongs to the, to the, to the Jews over here. The problem is they're forgetting something called a Jew's first right Jews first principle it's a Jews first principle and what that means is that God sent Jesus to the Jews first they're supposed to get the word of salvation first 
Salvation comes from the Jews, the Bible tells us. So, over here in the Old Testament, Abraham, Abraham got the message first that through his seed, the whole world was going to be blessed one day. Abraham. Then you got Isaiah the prophet, right? Isaiah the prophet. You got all these other prophets over here talking about that moment when Jesus was going to come. Prophets were prophesying when he was going to come. Prophets were prophesying when he was going to come. Right? And they're all saying the Gentiles are going to be saved. They're all prophesying that the Gentiles are going to be saved when Jesus comes. When this Messiah comes into the world, he's going to do a new thing. He's doing a new thing, but it just happens to be born in the Old Testament time. But as soon as he starts his ministry, right here, right here, right here, as soon as he starts his ministry, he starts teaching about a new thing, a new way. He's improving the law of Moses. Moses allowed for a divorce. Jesus said, but I say, whoever leaves his wife is committing adultery. Mo the old law was, was broken a little bit. It, was, it, was it, it had some flaws. We, we read about that in the New Testament. The Old Testament had some flaws. And Jesus came, lived under the law, even sacrificed, told the leper, to go sacrifice according to the law of Moses. He kept every jot and tittle. Jesus kept every jot and tittle. But when he said, it is finished, it is finished, right? You keep the jot and the tittle and tittle. You keep the jot and the tittle until it is finished. It was finished right here at the cross. And that's when we begin the New Testament. So while he's teaching over here, bringing the seeds and the word planted for the foundation built upon the 12 apostles and then the early Jewish church and everybody that was added until Daniel's prophecy came to an end. Now you got to understand Daniel's prophecy. See, Daniel's prophecy prophesied when the Messiah would come that he would confirm a covenant. In the middle of the covenant, he would stop the sacrifices and you'd have a little bit of leftover time here, this, this side of it, three and a half years on this side. So you got three and a half years over here, Jesus began his ministry, died on the cross. You got three and a half years where the, the Jews, the Jewish nation, nation was cut off. Cut off. Okay, you understand that they were cut off, right? The Jewish nation eventually got cut off, and then the Gentiles began to grow. It started off with a Jewish church, and then it grew into a Gentile Jewish church. Gentile and Jewish church and then for you know it it's basically mostly Gentiles because the Gentiles uh, the Jews got cut off and scattered in 70 AD and the disciples and apostles die after John the Baptist of uh, John John the Revelator in about 90 AD and then you start taking off with the early church fathers and then you get into the second and third century and then you get into Constantine and you get into basically a, a Gentile church. This is the foundation though. This is the root. This is where it began. It began, the words, the message, the foundation and the teachings began three and a half years before he died on the cross. He was teaching everything that we believe today. It still applies to us because Jesus was bringing a new thing into the world. The prophet said he's coming to do a new thing. The prophets spoke about Jesus doing a new thing. It was, it's not supposed to be in the Old Testament, even though he was born in the Old Testament. And this is where they're confusing people. They're totally ripping the gospel apart, shredding it with a chainsaw, <laughs> cutting it into pieces, dismantling it, confusing people. Jesus is the beginning of the church, the 12 disciples are the beginning of the church. When the, when the Holy Spirit came down at Pentecost, that was the consummation of the church, even though they didn't receive the Spirit yet, they were setting the stones in place. When did the church begin? Well, it began between 
Jesus speaking the seeds, the words to his 12 disciples and getting them ready, getting them ready, told them to go wait in the upper room and the Spirit will come down. When the Spirit came down, they had gifts, speaking in tongues, they converted a whole bunch of people on that, that day at Pentecost and that was the beginning where the Spirit actually came down to live inside us. Before that, they only knew about it. It was words. So you've got that time period between Jesus speaking the words to the coming of the Holy Spirit, consummating the church foundation, had to come to the Jews first. There's so many scriptures that say Jews first, Jews first, Jews first. But in the Old Testament, Jews and Gentiles will both come into this light by the seed of Abraham that was promised a long, long time ago. This is all how it works. They're butchering the gospel message. They're dismantling and ruining it and hurting so many people out there. So, hope that helps. We'll be making more videos about this as time goes on. God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.